Vaughn and welcome to a brand new edition of Fallen Force and Treasures, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we have some ghouls over there. Let's go in a sneak. They don't see me. It's all good. Uh, we are going to be doing the Sandy Cove's Convalescent Home, which was suggested by a name that is pretty hard for me to pronounce, but I'm going to go ahead and say Ishisui? I don't know if that's correct or not, but nevertheless, let's move forward a little bit. There we go, Sandy Cove's Convalescent Home. Apparently, this is a really cool location because this comment was really highly upvoted. And we also discovered Salem. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at where that is. It's going to be all the way to the northeast, actually just next to Hugo's Hole, which was the last episode. So here we have the Sandy Cove's Convalescent Home, and I don't think I need to show you guys where Diamond City is because you can just use these edges as the... Uh, as the reference point so this is probably going to be a pretty big location so I don't want to spend too much time outside we have the Sandy Cove's convalescent home sign as you can see and I quickly want to explore the back uh, there is a dead person in a wheelchair what else is new let's see there's a whole bunch of buildings to our left obviously but that's not what we are here for I don't expect there to be anything outside really but I need to check just in case before we head into the interior. Okay, I think that is it. So let's head inside Sandy Cove's convalescent home. By the way, guys, I'm getting a lot of suggestions. Actually, the, the actual suggestions are um, overpowering the suggestions that I can't do. But I'm getting a lot of suggestions that are A, quest-related, or B, uh related to a place that we've already done. So do me a favor, before you go ahead and suggest a location, click the link below that says playlist for this series, and just quickly scroll through the playlist and see if we've already done it. Because, you know, that's a really easy way to see if I've already done something. Anyways, it doesn't look like these Mr. Handies are going to uh, be hostile. Sandy Cove's convalescent home. How may I help you? I'm checking in. My family filled out the paperwork earlier. Okay, looks like we got Gladys's room key uh, before this Mr. Handy even finished talking. Welcome. We'll put you in Gladys's old room. Take the back stair, and it's the first door on your left. Have a nice day. Hello. What are you hiding? All righty. Do you have any more dialogue, Welcome front to desk Sandy attendant? Cove's home. How may I help Camp you? Here. Visiting my grandma. Oh, how nice for her! Don't forget to sign in, please. Have a nice day. All right. Uh, looks like we have an overdue book machine over here, which we'll definitely check out. I'm assuming that signifies there are some overdue books we can grab in this location. Uh, not really sure what to expect yes. with this one, as usual. Uh, but first off, we have a dead body in the bathroom, as well as two stim packs. Looks like that's going to be it. Anything else in the lobby? There are no magazines on this table, right? There are, but they are burnt. Okay, we have an upstairs section, and if we head to the back here, it looks like we can activate this terminal as well as a cap stash. Okay, it's a novice lock terminal. Got it. Alright, nursing station. Please remind residents they must have their key to access their personal safe. Lost safe key reminders. If a resident loses their safe key, check in their habitual hiding spot. Catherine by her cat bowls. Edward behind his typewriter. Ethel, wait a second, is this their age next to their name? 205, 106? How, how is that possible unless they are ghouls, right? Okay, Edward behind his typewriter. Ethel behind her paintbrush. Margaret under her fertilizer. Wait a second. Sounds like these things are much smaller than their surroundings. Mortimer in his favorite boat model. Yeah, Randall under the mounted deer head. So what the hell is going on here? Security alerts. Gladys. Gladys has escaped three times now. I think she just does it to remind us she's still dangerous. I swear that lady has explosives hidden away in her room. These Mr. Handies are driving me crazy. They consistently, that's the word, fail to check the fake bus stop outside for escapes. At some point, the local police are going to figure out why our residents are wandering the streets. And security door control. Open that door. Interesting. So we'll see what the hell is going on here because it sounds really weird. Oh, wow. Look at this. We have a whole bunch of safes that all require the key to the specific person. 
So we'll have to look out for that. We have a silver locket in an opened one. And a floral vase in another one. Okay. Stim pack. And a Massachusetts surgical journal. Hell yeah. Permanently inflict plus 2% limb damage. Happy sedation special. Very cool. And Jet and Psycho. And what was that up there? Looks like a burnt textbook or more Jet maybe, perhaps. Okay, chemistry station. And a whole bunch of rad roaches. Let's pistol whip them to death. Someone is dead here. Are we trying to look for their keys? I'm not seeing anything near them. So I will go ahead and say the keys are in specific spots. Oh, I just realized. So the uh, terminal was referencing their keys. So it looks like we're going to have to go on a scavenger hunt and grab those keys. Very interesting. Okay, but before we find the location of all those keys, we will just do a once-over of all these places. Um, I guess we shouldn't be in sneak, because the only thing in here so far are the uh, rat roaches that want to kill us. We'll hold off on the upstairs section. Let's look through these rooms one by one. Stimpak ran away, very nice. And I'll try to remember where it said these guys were hiding their stuff. There's one, Edward's save key. Go. And I remember a typewriter was referenced. Okay. There's an overdue book. Very nice. I'm going to assume that once you find the key, that's pretty much all there is to each room. Okay, are you going to talk to me? No, you are not. All right. Moving on. We were already in there. How about this one? That leads upstairs as well. Okay, how about over here? We have a toolbox leading to another room. Man, this place is a labyrinth, that's for sure. Um, bobby pin box, very nice. Okay, nothing in the mirror. Yeah, I didn't really pay too much attention to the hiding places. For some reason, I thought that it was saying, like, I, I thought that they were taking care of ants or something, and they were hiding in those spaces. I just, my mind did not comprehend what was going on. All right, let's see. We have a broken elevator, I'm assuming, right? Can we activate this at all? Mm, does not look like it. Okay, and we did not head in here, I don't think. Nope, definitely did not. Another overdue book. Looks like this is another room, so let's find the key. I'm um, not sure who this one belongs to, but let's see. Okay, this might be the fertilizer one. Because they mentioned one key was under fertilizer, and I'm seeing a whole bunch of plants, although I'm not seeing a key. Probably just going to have to go find each one. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Okay. Let's attempt to go upstairs and see what we have in these rooms. Alright. There's nothing over here. How about through here? God, so many rooms! And we fell back down. Okay, let's see what we have in this one. You've already welcomed me, but thank you. What? Okay, looks like a whole bunch of synths have shown up, but of course, I'm sided with the Institute on this character, so they're not going to attack me. That's always nice. Here we have another key. Randall's safe oh. key. Nice. Okay, how about through this door? It's just hard differentiating all of the separate rooms, since they look pretty damn similar. Um, let's see if we can spot a key in here. I am not seeing one. Alright, so unfortunately these synths are killing all of the attendants, which are not hostile. So that sucks, but we've entered another room with some cat bowls. And there's Catherine's key. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything unique in these rooms other than some overdue books, if there are any more. But I will let you guys know if I find anything. Alright, so we have this room with all of the paintings, and of course there is going to be Ethel's safe key under her there paintbrush. And I completely missed this, we have Gladys' room key here, which of course we can use. Ooh, there's actually some goodies in here, nice. Okay, bobby pin right away, sweet. Uh, let's see, nothing on this shelf. 
Can't even look inside that suitcase. Oh, this, yeah, this is Gladys. This is the one that was, like, really crazy. And obviously she has a whole bunch of military stuff all over the place, including a combat knife. And a trunk with a whole bunch of ammo. Wow, 10 frag grenades. Very nice. Not bad, Gladys. Not bad at all. I don't know how you got that in here. But, uh, okay. And here is a room that we missed. So obviously this one is going to be in his favorite model ship. This is that guy. There's a whole bunch of ship stuff all over the place, including what looks like a little replica of um, a swan boat that we've seen in the swan episode. But over here is going to be Mortimer's safe key. I'm pretty sure we found five out of the six. I think the only one that we're missing is the, actually two. I think we're missing one that was under the fertilizer and one that was under the mounted deer head okay i was mistaken the one under the deer's head was actually the one that we found um by the pillow so the last one is going to be right over here by the bags of fertilizer who would have thought nice. margaret's safe key and i'm pretty sure that's going to be all six keys so now we just need to return to the front office and see what we're going to get for our efforts i think it's this way yes because we came in through the kitchen and there are all uh, the safes. Hopefully we have all of them, all of the keys. Let's see what's inside Ethel's safe. Now, unfortunately, oh, I was going to say it's probably just going to be a whole bunch of ammo like usual. But no, looks like it's going to be different. We have Mentats and Rynex, neither of which I want. Uh, nothing in that one, right? Nope. Catherine's safe. Buff Out and Psycho. So I guess they were just crazy on drugs. Or maybe they were using those drugs to treat them. Not really sure. Uh, we have this safe down here, which is empty. Randall's safe. Medex, Psycho, and two stim packs. Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of drugs, and I assume that's going to be the theme for the rest of these safes. Edward's safe. Mentats. A silver pocket watch. Mortimer's safe. Two blood packs and Radex. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. And finally, Margaret's safe, which is going to have four mentats so kind of disappointing simply because i really don't use drugs on any playthrough in any fallout game ever not because like i'm straight edge or anything in real life just because i don't like the negative side effects of uh being addicted and all that sort of stuff anyways i'm gonna go ahead and see if we missed anything at all in this location and i will see you guys in a second Okay, it would appear that the only thing that we missed in this location, other than a PAX syringe, which is just ammo for the syringer that we passed up, uh, it's not unique, as far as I understand, um, are two overdue books in this room. So there's one of them, and it looks like there should be one more. There are three in the room with the typewriter, and one in the room with the fertilizer, I believe. So we're looking for one more overdue book. Let's see if we can find it somewhere. Maybe it's over here by all of these books uh burnt book burnt book it's hard to distinguish them they all look the same to me anyways okay it was actually right next to i think this was edward yeah so that's going to be it ladies and gentlemen for the sandy cove's convalescent home definitely by far one of the coolest locations we've done so far that was really 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 cool and interesting and unique uh, and again, I haven't said this in a while, in a while but uh, the whole point of this series, so we went on a scavenger hunt for some meds, basically. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. We also got some unique goodies along the way as well. Thanks for watching this one. Leave any and all suggestions below. Actually, I forgot. We got a whole bunch of overdue books. Four, in fact. Let's see what we can use them for here. Spend tokens. Okay, we got a hairbrush, Jangles the Moon Monkey, Fancy Hairbrush, Undamaged Camera, Toy Rocket Ship, and Clean Dog Bowl. I was assuming it wasn't going to be anything unique. So thanks again for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And again, leave any and all suggestions below. I will do my best to visit them, especially if they were are especially if they are highly upvoted uh, in the YouTube comments section. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.